Hey, Jesse, it's good to see you, man. Um, thanks for getting together and talking about Telos EVM, which you and I have been working on for, gosh, it seems like months now, probably has been months. And um, and I just wanted to like get together, have a quick talk so people could know what we're working on. Yes, I want to do the same. <laughs> Great. So, um, so first thing is, you know, what it like for people who don't really know, what is Telos EVM? It's an Ethereum virtual machine, right? What yeah. there's a few out there like BSC, uh, BS Binance Smart Chain is the Ethereum is virtual machine. What's what's ours? Is ours the same? Is it different? What's what's Telos EVM? Yeah. So, um, well, the EVM itself has, you know, uh, it's a standard that has a particular mechanic that is expected, right? It runs solidity contracts. It has certain behaviors. Um, there's a standard set of tests out there. Um, and so Telos EVM in that way is, you know, should, yeah. should be identical for everybody's experience in that context. Um, but how is it different? Um, well, it is a smart contract on the Telos native network. So Telos native uh, network smart contracts are just, I love it. I, you know, I love the technology. It's capable of having one smart contract that is implementing the entire Ethereum virtual machine. Yeah, um, that's that's crazy, right? So people, yeah. I, I used, I described this like back in the day, you used to have like one big sort of stand-up arcade machine that would run one Nintendo game, right? And but now you can go to Costco or whatever, and for you know 19 bucks, you can get a you can get a, like a little thing that runs every Nintendo game ever made, right? Because it's emulating the old ones because it's yeah. more powerful, so it's able to basically run all the old ones, right? And yeah. essentially, Telos is a lot more powerful than Ethereum, and so it can emulate it. You can actually run Ethereum inside of Telos, and that's basically what the EVM is doing, right? Correct. Yeah. Right. And but then we get the advantages. We get the advantages of, of, of the, which are speed and capacity and low cost, things like that. Right. Yeah. So the, any transaction sent to the EVM contract, which is the Telos EVM. Um, it, if you were to look on the Telos native network, you'd still see it. It would go into the half second block and uh, you'd see it in the Explorer. Um, but what you'd see is, you know, all the gibberish hex, uh, yeah data from the EVM transaction. Yep. Um, and, and, but it's still half second block times if we don't have the front running, we don't, you know, the, the fees and the cost are still, um, you know, standard, like yeah. Telos prices, um, only so, inside the EVM, the EVM charges gas. That's part of the EVM's mechanics that we, like we talked about. So, right. Uh, yeah, so we have, we have a system that runs the same software, runs it in the way this is we're running all these tests so that uh, to make sure that everything that any program in Solidity expects on Ethereum, it gets the exact same responses and whatnot on Telos EVM, right? Mm -hmm. And, but it's able to run them instead of 15 seconds blocks, it's able to run half second blocks. And instead of, instead of a maximum of about uh, 1.7 million transactions per 24 hours, it has almost unlimited, like hundreds of millions could, could be done on Telos, right? Yeah. And then the cost- we, We've hit 38 million at one point in a day, I think we're- Yeah, but that's just because we haven't, we haven't really, really pushed it yet. We know that, we know that EOSIO can handle over hundred, uh, 50 yes, million a day. So proven on, on tests. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So, so, um, so there's all those advantages and then there's, and then there's probably what people hope, you know, like a lot, which is the cost advantage. Right. Yeah. And, and how, and how much do you think we're going to, that's going to be. So to, to, you know, be, be the technical person, um, the, the contract has a set price for gas. So we're, whereas on Ethereum and other EVM networks, you, say how much you're willing to pay in gas. And that allows you to cut in line in front of other people, which is what leads how to the front running problems. happens. Yeah. Um, on, on the EVM, it's got a very simple piece of logic. The contract has a set price for gas. And if you send a transaction that says you'll pay more than that, we're gonna charge you that price. We're not gonna charge you what you say you're willing to pay, we'll charge you that price. If you send a tra transaction that says you're willing to pay less than that, well, we're gonna reject it just like, uh, 
you know, no, you have to pay more. There's uh, one price. The it's, it's one price. Transaction right? said because <laughs> the transaction was signed and said, yeah, yeah. it's one price. Um, and and you know we we will either charge you less than you say or we won't honor your transaction because you didn't say you'll you'll pay what the price is. So right. that's how we you know we don't have front running as a result of that. Um, yeah, it's one price, and that's incredibly low. Like that's like we're not we're talking. One percent of Ethereum price, gas price, or less, maybe yeah. one tenth of one percent, possibly one hundredth of one percent. We're yeah, it's also based on gas, so we still the EVM still measures you know how much gas is used by a transaction, charges you more or less, multiplied you know, the gas multiplied by, by the prices, how much you yeah. pay for the transaction. That's still all there. Yeah. Um, we also add on the cost of RAM if RAM's used, which is a Telus native concept. Um, yeah. That's really the only difference there. And, uh, you're, you're, you're telling people things they don't care about. We care. We care. We care. It's yeah. very important to us because we have to make it work. But 99% of people who are looking at this is like, like less. How much less? Is it? Is it 50%? Is it 1%? Yeah, I mean, is it 0.1%? They want to know that it's really low. And it is. Yeah, we have, a, we have a spreadsheet somewhere where we calculate it out and we look at like, okay, this at this gas price, the transfer is going to be, you know, a cent or under a cent, whereas yeah. deploying a large contract is going to be, you know, a quarter, maybe 50 cents. I, I don't know. Depends on the size and, and everything. Um, right. Well, yeah. And then we're talking about deploying a contract. I, I deployed a contract on Ethereum last week and um, it, <laughs> it costs like, like $1,500. So, um, so yeah. And you're talking about 25 cents. Yeah. That's, that's the scale. Um, and that's exciting. And then, and then what people don't even think about really, uh, unless they get hit with it is, is front running or sandwich trading, which is where somebody sees a transaction that's in the mempool, um, which is the, all the waiting trend, pending transactions in, in Ethereum. And then it's waiting for 15 seconds per block or more. And bots are able to jump in there, jump in, either jump in line in front, or actually that's how, that's how front running used to work. Now what front running is, they don't even pay more gas. The, the uh, mining pools actually do the front running themselves. And they, they, they pay zero gas, but they put their they put their transaction ahead, and it's it's really it's really really not fair, and yeah. it re that's where you really see you know it sucks that there's like seven mining pools that are doing most of the mining because, you know that's that really that really sucks. If you think uh, if you think a high fee costs a lot, wait till you do a DeFi buy, and then and then you know and look on DeFi tools and see that that you know somebody like stole like two ETH worth of value out of just 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 took your value by front yeah. running. Oh, good. That's, I know. I, I don't even be starving. It's 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 uh it's no fun. Okay. Well, let's show. So these so these are some really great advantages. These are really practical advantages. I I think my theory is nobody really talks about front running because nobody else has a solution for it. You know, everything else right. it's an Ethereum based thing. You know, they don't talk, they don't want to talk about how awful uh, like basic daylight robbery front running is because they have no solution. You know, so why would they talk about it? But we, but Telos EVM is going to solve it, right? Yeah, it. And, and and you know, tell, once we have EVM, you know, Telos network itself will have both, you know, both of the leading, you know, DeFi uh, platforms, you know, between EOS IO and EVM platforms. You know, that's those are the two that are all, you know, taken over on DAP radar and stuff. So you'll be able to leverage either of the best, yeah, technologies. Out well. There. I mean, we, we got to do another video to talk about why the native Telos DeFi is so cool because, I mean, there we're going to have sure profit, right? Telos sure profit, mm -hmm. which is, which is um, our, our, you know, I don't know, patented, it'll probably be open source. <laughs> it'll be our, it's, it's our Telos innovation of, of making a contract where, uh, uh, where you're able to make a, a DeFi transaction, and if it doesn't profit you, it just gets it just cancel. You just program it to cancel itself, so it doesn't go through. Because people do have like these big composed DeFi transactions, and in the end, they go, "I lost money," <laughs> you know, <laughs> and that kind of sucks. And we've we've solved that. So there's a lot of fun things we can talk about in a future video on just uh, on Telos Native. Can you share your screen and show people just who haven't seen maybe Ethereum running on Telos? On our yeah. test, our Telos testnet EVM. I can do that. You should be seeing MetaMask. Does that work? I am seeing MetaMask. All right. 
So this is uh, this is MetaMask. Uh, it, you know, it normally is a drop down. You can make it full screen. I prefer it that way. Um, and I, you can see I've got all the test nets here, or all the networks here. I configured Telos test net. Now there's mm -hmm. two two ways you can do that. Um, you go into your settings, and you um, go to networks. You can add a new network, um, and here's all the information. You can get that off of. Uh, you know, docs.telos.net. Uh, you can go on the T Telos EVM Telegram. It's pinned. But um, more recently, what's really cool. Yeah. Is, so you're uh, basically, well, the other way, before you show the other one, can you just show like right there in that, in that uh, uh, pill shape thing where it says Telos Testnet at your mm -hmm. top? Like, because most people will just drag down there and, and, and choose, right? right? You can choose between. Right. So once, once you've added it, you just pick it. Just like, yep. Binance Smart Chain or Mainnet or whatever. Any of these tests. Yep. And you know, right here, I could send to somebody. Send send uh, me one. Send me something I don't have. What? Show me your. Show me. Show me what asset. What assets do you have? Um. On and we'll oh, show you. Send me something I don't have. So perfect. I don't have any soon. Oh yeah, I have zero soon. So send me some soon, and then I'll send it back to you as quickly as you know. This is so fast. I love how fast this is. Too soon. It's too soon. Don't tell me too soon. <laughs> okay. Send it. And I, the funny it's thing about using confirmed. desktop is, is it's so fast that, um, that MetaMask doesn't even look at transactions being that fast. Right. <laughs> so I've already got it. I've got, I've got the soon. Um, I'm going to send, I'm going to send you some, I have soon too i guess i have now i have nine ninety nine thousand nine hundred and seven soon okay so we'll see how many soon i get back okay um i'm having so yeah here's my too soon i'll send you um i'll send you uh i'll send you point too soon <laughs> okay i said okay i'm confirming now three two one confirm and let's see how. And I wonder how fast it refreshes on my side. Yeah, it's just it's, it's the funny thing is it's done. It like is. if we were to look at this on our block explorer, it'd be done. There you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's just is, so fast. It's MetaMask so fast. Nobody quick. built MetaMask to look this quickly because no no transactions have ever actually happened that quickly on Ethereum. Yeah. So uh, so that's that's you know Ethereum. That's MetaMask on the test net now. Um, you can also, the other thing I was going to say is, you know, instead of adding it in the settings, like you used to be able to do, this is a new feature of MetaMask, but you can just come in here to chainless.org, search for Telos. Um, the main net is, we defined it. It's, it's not up Yeah, yet. we reserve, we wanted to reserve our number, right? The, 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 the great user, EVM but... numbers are going fast. And so, and so we, we reserved ours. Um, you just click add to MetaMask here and it will add, add a, uh, Add it to MetaMask. I think that the first button you see is it'll say connect your wallet. Um, mm -hmm. And then once you connect the wallet, you can click add to MetaMask. It'll configure that um, the network for you. So you don't you just then you just don't have to paste all those things in. Yeah. And, and applications can do that too. So hopefully as people start building the apps on, on the Telos EVM, they'll they'll add that to the app itself. So people can go straight to their app, be prompted to add it to MetaMask and be on their way. Great. I think this is a great chunk of, of stuff to show people. I'm excited to see it. I'm excited to, you know, this is MetaMask. This is exactly how it looks when you when you do something. I think we'll do a couple more videos after this and show people a little bit more. But, you know, here it is. You you see how fast it is. You could go and look at Blocktivity and, and see how how many the how much the transactions are. And for the moment, you got to kind of trust Jesse and I because we're doing, you know, tests and stuff back and forth. But it's going to be... It's going to be, you know, it, it's not going to be 1%. But we thought we were cautious early on. We thought, oh, you know, it's going to be like 1%. It's it's probably not even going to be 0.1% of the cost of Ethereum. It's probably going to be somewhere between 0.01 and 0.1% is my is my guess right now. So really, really, really cheap. So cheap, actually, we had to figure out because Telos can only go down to 0. 0.000, you know, one Telos. That's like everything it has to be at least that much, right? That's 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 one of the things. You know, it's like, well, we're kind of stymied by how by how expensive. And but that's how cheap it is. So that's you know uh, and that's that's in the contract. There's actually two things in the contract. One is the minimum 
gas price, yep. which is fixed, like we talked about. And the other one is the minimum cost in gas for a transaction, which will will likely start at, you know, point, you know, with the smallest increment of Telos is it has yeah. to cost that much. Otherwise, yeah. we can't, you know. Yeah. And we did, you know, you know we just amount. listed, we just listed Telos on. We just listed Telos on on Binance Smart Chain, and it's funny when Binance Smart Chain started out, you could get like six cent transactions and stuff like that. We loaded up our first thing. We, it was very busy that day. I think a lot of things were starting, but it's also just showing the the growth of that because it's basically built, still built on to, on on Ethereum, you know, bones. And it we 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 were so frustrated because we put in like a tw- I was like I was like why didn't you guys just put five dollars in anything will go with you know because I hadn't used BSC in a while I was like anything will go through instantly with for five dollars and 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 they're like no we did twenty dollars and we're mm-hmm. still waiting for this yeah. transaction to go through and I'm like okay that's that's you know it's already it's grown so fast which is great but it's already feeling its growing pains. Um, yeah. Tell us, I don't think you'll feel that for a long, long time. And then yeah. you said that you get, you can do like $1, you could do like $1 DeFi. Imagine what that brings to people where, where $1 is their amount to invest. That's going to like change their life that they really, God would love to turn into $2 or $3, you know? And, and there's, I mean, that's how the world is. And these people have access to the, to the internet and access to these things through smart contracts. And they're going to be able to go in and do $10, $1, $10, $20 things that just wouldn't even be profitable on, on BSC at this point, because the, the, the fees are going up. So I'm super jazzed about it. Um, And and, you know, the, the fixed gas price does actually, we we talked about the fixed, gas price lending itself to no front running, but it also really lends itself because there's no competition to get in there faster. There's, there's no incentive to pay more and we won't let you pay more. Yeah. We won't let you cut in line. So it also is what keeps the price affordable is the fact that nobody's going to keep raising the price. Like when things get busy, Mm -hmm. people that want to, you know, the rich people pay more to skip traffic. You don't have that it's option. Not, that yeah. happen, you know that right? you we're not giving you that option. It's 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 tell us, baby. It's we're all paying the same rate. Um, if you want to get in line first, you better do your transaction first because yeah. yeah, more money doesn't you know necessarily like unlike most of the world, <laughs> you don't get to skip the line because you have more yeah. money. It's tell us. I love that. Let's stop here and in our right. next video, let's talk about um, let's talk about uh, you know why we didn't just have why this wasn't ready overnight. Why is it taking time and where are we now? You want to do that? Yeah. Okay, great. Thanks, Jesse. Yeah. Thanks, Douglas.